Hello everyone, my name is Marcelo and in this tutorial we will learn how to open and close browsers and applications in Power Automate Desktop. So let's get started by learning how to open and close browsers. So after creating a flow on Power Automate Desktop will appear this window where we can develop our automation. And so here on Actions, let's start by searching the action that will enable us to launch the browser. So let's search here for launch new. And here we can see actions that launches a browser. So we can see one for Internet Explorer, another for Firefox, Chrome and Microsoft Edge. So let's pick one of these actions. I will use the Chrome one. And so first we need to indicate what's the launch mode that we want. If we want to launch a new instance or attach to a running instance. So in our case, to open the browser, the Chrome browser, we want to launch a new instance. Then on initial URL, we can provide a URL of a website that we want to visit after launch the browser. So for example, I will paste here the one to access to the Microsoft page. So you can put another if you want. And then here, window state, we can force the window to be maximized when it's launched the browser. So I will select this one. And then here we have some advanced options that we don't need to change. And so now let's click here on save and let's run our flow by clicking here on run. And as we can see, was launched the Chrome browser in the page that I have indicated on the Microsoft page. So then how we can close the browser? It's very simple. So here on actions, let's search for close. And here we can see many actions that has close in their name. So the one that we'll use, it's the close web browser. So let's drag it after the launch new Chrome. And so we just that provide the web browser instance that we want to close. So uh, when uh, we use the launch new Chrome, we can see that was created variable that represents the Chrome instance. And so here we just have to indicate this instance to then Power Automate Desktop know what's the browser to close. So in our case, we just have one, so it's simple. So now uh, let's run again our flow. And as we can see, first was launched the Chrome browser and then was closed. So now let's see how we can open and close applications. So we can here comment these uh, two actions by doing right click and then click on this evil action. And now let's search here on actions for run application. So this action allows us to start application, for example, the notepad, the calculator and another uh, desktop applications. So first let's drag it to our flow. So first we have to indicate the application path, so the executable file that launches the application. So for example, let's launch the word path. So let's get first the path to the executable of word path. So here let's click on open file location. And here we can see a shortcut that launches the word path. So we can indicate the path to this shortcut. So Let's select here the shortcut and then click here and select copy path. So now let's paste here. Then we have here some other properties that we can change. Uh, window style, let's select uh, maximize. And so now let's save what we have did here and let's run the flow to see if we'll be started the word path. So let's run. And as you can see, we started the WordPad application. So now let's see how we can close the WordPad. 
So here on actions, let's search again for close. And now in this case, we'll use the close window action. So here, let's drag this action after the run application. So here on the find window mode, we have some methods that we can use to indicate the application close. So can be by window UI element, by window instance handle, or by title or class. So let's use the one already selected. And so now we have to indicate the Y element of the window of WordPad. So here, let's add a new Y element. And now let's select here the WordPad. And so to indicate the WordPad window, let's, for example, uh, select this area. And now let's do as it says here to indicate the Y element, we need to press Ctrl and left mouse click. So let's do it. And so we have indicated the WordPad window. So let's save. And now let's close the WordPad and let's run again our flow. And as we can see, first we started the WordPad application and then was closed by the close window action. So if you liked this video, Please give a thumbs up and also consider to subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you will get notified for each video that I launch on the channel. See you so on the next tutorial.